The Ukrainian Kharkov counteroffensive, Alter. Let's fucking go. We finished What's our your opinion on journalists that are out there every day? They're real journalists. What is a real journalist? Someone in BuzzFeed who said, This is the top moments where Tom Hardy shows his abs. Here's my article. Or is a real journalist someone that makes a documentary like Sean Penn right now uh, about this war. Video dedicated to the <laughs> events of the Russo-Ukrainian war in August. In the People first half of September, Ukraine, Ukraine managed slow but steady mm. progress there. Mm. But as it turned out, this would not be the most important process in this period. Ukraine launched a surprising and highly successful counter-offensive in the eastern part of Kharkiv Oblast. Sometimes I'm actually thinking, what can I do to help these Ukrainians? I guess donating money is the number one thing you will do. Like, I, I don't want to go there right now and become a foreign legionnaire, you know? But I often wonder, what, I, what can I help to help them? And I think, donations. <laughs> send your message to Russian invaders. You have a chance to send a greeting to orcs with your text written on an artillery shell. You'll receive a photo of a signed shell. Or of a video it being fired. You can choose a weapon? Where? If you if you spend 5,000, you can get your own howitzer. Dude, how do we not live in a TV show, man? I can buy a fucking howitzer. Choose your artillery shell. <laughs> oh, for $900, I get a fucking a jet rocket. Dude, the world is such a meme, Adam. The world is such a meme. In this video, we will describe I have to, I have both Ukrainian um, counter-offensives and provide you with updates on other notable developments from the war in <laughs> Ukraine in the charity. first half of September. Even for those far I'm going to from text the war, her today, and if she says yes, we're going to make a felt. nation goal for buying a In fact, the average stock and bond-based portfolio is down 20% this year, leading some to look for more stable ways to invest their money. I really wonder what he's not going to say. It makes you more stable money, man. This is leading to Just increased interest in though. the art market. Ukrainian YouTubers are literally making chat roulette videos with Russians for eight years shows perfectly the state of Russian fascism. I have no idea what you just said, what? Which is opening to more people than Buy ever due to the revolutionary 40, approach of our sponsor, Masterworks. The previous video described the start of the Ukrainian counteroffensive in Kherson. After several months of targeting Russian ammunition depots and critical supply lines in and around Kherson Oblast, Ukraine launched its counteroffensive on three main we axes. Want just wondering, um, you know, I also want to cut some stack to Russians, man. Imagine you live in Russia right now. It must be very hard, man, you know. If you say something, you go to fucking prison, you don't want that. It's hard being a Russian right now. It was reported that Ukrainian forces broke through the first line of the Russian defense, which was mainly you, defended the by man. the separatist DPR units. Thank you, man. Even though the Ukrainian thank you, thank you. command maintained a strict silence policy in connection with its Kherson offensive, information about the liberation of several villages and towns was reported by the media. The message of the Ukrainian command and officials was not to be euphoric, you, as the Kherson offensive was planned to be the slow and methodical destruction of the Russian military assets in the area. In the first half of September, Ukraine continued putting pressure on the Russian forces in Kherson Oblast to advance slowly, while further degrading Russian supplies and attacking Russian pontoon bridges and barges to minimize supplies coming to the Russian contingent of about 20 to 30,000 troops in this area. Losing her son would threaten the Russians' control over Crimea and another key logistical yeah, hub of Melitopol in Zaporizhia. Hence, since late August, Russia has ramped up efforts to bolster its numbers in the area. I'm wondering if someone is right now developing a whole format of we have a scenario, Russia versus Ukraine. You know, like the Stalingrad scenario I used to play? The Thank British you, Ministry of Defense reported that elements of the elite First Guard tank army were deployed from the Kharkiv Izium front to Hersan. Furthermore, RFERL provided footage Doubt. of Russian convoys moving into southern Ukraine via the Kerch Strait Bridge. But Ukraine did not intend to allow Russia to strengthen its positions in the Kherson Oblast and continued targeting Russian military infrastructure. On September 1st, a Ukrainian airstrike destroyed a Russian military base in Snihirivka. On September 2nd, I still a don't Russian understand pontoon what the air situation is in Ukraine. Like, who has green air? I don't fucking fate. get that. On September 4th, it was reported that the Ukrainian 28th Mechanized Brigade and the 59th Motorized Brigade Twitch money. drove the 20th Guards Motor Rifle Division and elements of the 7th Guards Mountain Air Assault Division away from Lyubo Merivka near the M14 highway leading directly to Hesan. The Ukrainian army also liberated Blahodativka to expand its Andrivka Lozova bridgehead across the Inhilets. Ukraine I managing to protect stuff, man. and expand this bridgehead poses a threat of taking the T 2207 highway under control. But isn't it crazy how nowadays YouTubers are modern historians 
in many many years do you think our kids would rather read about this war or would just watch a youtube video about it right this is this is modern history books in a way if you're being honest right troll to it's advance on natural progress, and Novokakovka, which would mean the dissection of the russian army in her son of last into two according to russian sources putin just doesn't have enough infantry to get rid of this bridgehead Another interesting development in early September That's was the resurfacing of videos of Bayraktar TB2 drone Bayraktar. strikes on Russian military equipment and positions for the first time in a while. After having some success at the initial That's stage of the war, it. the Russian air defenses and radar systems presumably managed to minimize the impact of these strike drones. It is argued that the AGM-88 Harm missiles supplied by the United States to Ukraine, which have been essentially designed to target radar systems, have drastically decreased the electronic warfare nice. capabilities of Russia in her son and other Finally, fronts, you say it's doing something allowing well, Ukraine man. to Fuck send yeah, TB2s dude. back to the air. Imagine and Trump would have like not supported Ukraine or something. On September, I wonder what what do you think? I have no idea. What what what, what Trump would have done? Tommy what would Trump have done in this situation? Do you think he would be like hardcore? Let's destroy Putin. I think it would be pro-Ukraine, anti-Russian, I would think. But who knows, Say, uh, who knows? Ukraine who knows? destroyed another Russian ammunition it depot in Tominibalka, about 20 kilometers west of Hesun. On the following day, the advance of the Ukrainian army in the northeastern axis of Hesun continued. Pro -Putin. Where's he pro -Putin? It was reported that the village of Novovosnesenska was liberated. That? On September 8th, an unconfirmed report claimed by Russian telegram channels stated that elements of the units the defending Kizilivka abandoned their positions under intense pressure, allowing Ukraine to take it. On September 10th, Ukraine struck the Alkarisa's enterprise in Kherson, which hosted a Russian military base. On the same Trump day, was so pro Putin he bombed Russian jets in Syria. Yeah. It was also reported that the Ukrainian 28th Mechanized Brigade drove elements of the 20th Guards Motor Rifle Division from Alexandrivka like, on know the T-1501 highway leading to Hesson. On September 12th, the Ukrainian command stated, without too many Source, details, me, that Ukraine had been able to liberate 500 square kilometers in Kherson since the start of the offensive. Spokesperson of the Ukrainian Southern Operational Command, Natalia Humenyuk, noted a couple of newly liberated settlements, Bilohirka near the Andrivka Lozova bridgehead and Miroljubivka in the northeastern axis. Putin took Crimea when the Democrats The were liberation in power. of Bilohirka means the further expansion of the strategically important bridgehead. Nice argument, Senator. Why don't you back it up with a source? My source is that I made it the fuck up. <laughs> Hermenyuk also claimed that Russian forces deployed in Hessen of last have offered to surrender. We cannot be sure whether that is true or not, and whether Hermenyuk was talking about specific units or the Russian force no on the western bank of the Dnipro yeah. in general. At the time of writing the script for this video, there were no further updates on this claim. On September 13th, several social media accounts claimed that Ukraine further expanded its bridgehead in Hessen by liberating Novobrednica and Malasedemenuka. There have been That's additional claims now. of Ukrainian advances There's in Hesson so Oblast, here, namely of considerable progress south of the Sokopilia, reaching Novohryhorivka, which would mean 40 kilometers of progress on this axis since the start of the offensive. I always wonder and fantasize uh, in real life, like, how does it actually, what does this actually look like, like a front line? Are they, like, entrenched? Are they in buildings? I, I, I want to know how in real life this front line looks. Like, how does it feel like? How does it look like? I, I really wonder. But we cannot confirm this at this point. The last major event with a direct impact on the Battle of Hesson was the Russian strike on Karachinivska Dam in Kravoyri, which had substantially increased the water levels of the river Inhilets. Right now, it is difficult to fully understand how it will affect the resupply of Ukrainian forces fighting in the Andrivka Lozova bridgehead. What if I have points and we trenches? will see very soon if Ukraine manages to solve this issue. And I, how I it's never understand that. If 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 Russians aren't trenched here, I'm just going to use a drone. I'm going to scout. I'm going to artillery the trenches, and then I fuck them up. Need to impact right? the situation in Hesson. Trench warfare doesn't really work anymore. The slow right? and methodic because you're Ukrainian just fucking, advance continues you're in the just region, artillery and that it shit. is clear that the Russian supply situation is worsening. Most of the Russian artillery That's moved what doing back right across now. the river in order to improve its ammunition so it situation. Ammunition. Well, it looks like we have to actually donate some ammunition, guys. Regardless, the danger for the Russian troops is very real in the area, as they don't have any bridges left to cross the Dnipro, making a fighting retreat impossible. Oh, man. Now Imagine let's take a look at the event. events on the Kharkiv front. 
In our previous videos and above, we talked about a small Ukrainian advance. I don't understand why Russia has a veto right in the UN Security Council. It's like asking Germany if they want to continue World War II. Yeah, I, have, I don't understand. Yeah, you're totally right. Uh, Russia can veto its own sanctioning in the UN with their own veto. What, Alter? As a toothless organization. That is a farce, man. That is... Re that is ridiculous, man. Arts west of Izium in August. That and is a fucking joke. And deprioritization of this front by and the Russians. these Russian kind of jokes is what makes uh, some tyrannical dictators so strong. Because we Westerners are such fucking jokes, man. Expecting the Ukrainian offensive to start there, and probably hoping to counterattack against the forming Ukrainian bridgeheads. For weeks, Russian telegram channels warned about Ukrainians deploying more troops to the area. But somehow, the Russian command ignored these signs of impending activity. I was busy drinking water, what you mean? Ah, on this man. axis. Their main focus was on the ongoing Ukrainian counteroffensive in Kherson, and their continued attempts to progress in Donbass. This paved the way to another Ukrainian counteroffensive, which shocked the world and might have turned the tide of the war in favor of Ukraine. On September 6th, the 92nd and 93rd mechanized app. brigades, the 25th, the 90th and 95th and airborne brigades, and the 3rd tank brigade launched an offensive in and around Balaklia, defended by the elite 1st Guards tank army, SOBR quick response units of the Russian National Guard, and several other units deployed in the area. Balaklia was an important transport hub for the Russian war effort in this area, which also hosted a major ammunition depot called the 65th video. Arsenal one of the largest during the Soviet period. It is reported that the Ukrainian pace of the offensive was very quick. Instead of massing around and sieging settlements, the Ukrainians moved very quickly to bypass them and wreak havoc in the Russian rear. Nice. Footage from battles Blitzkrieg in the is still area very, very and comments nowadays, of right? Russian military like bloggers breaking through, taking indicate supply that lines, Ukrainian reconnaissance units moved very so fast, fast ahead of the, the main group happening. of Ukrainian That's forces meta, I guess. and created a sense of an all-out attack by basically firing at will at everything on the horizon and breaking the resolve of the Russian troops suffering from low morale and poor supplies NATO needs to, to send resist. Assassin's Creed to Moscow. Within hours, Babivka, a village north of Balaklia, was liberated. I your de Very soon, other villages and you like me put in after die. Kunir, and Vesela, on the roads leading to Balaklia, were That's taken under Walker control, you make the putting opening the Russian SOBR like this. under threat of encirclement. The SOBR managed to flee the town, but had to leave the vast majority once. of its equipment to the advancing Russia Ukrainians. Nice. At this point, the Russian front in the so area basically collapsed, Ukraine, dude. allowing further progress of the Ukrainian army. It moved towards another important road junction in at the town of Shevchenkovo, opening know, the dear. road for the liberation of Kupiansk, works. an extremely important railroad it's probably not so easy to which like played a key it's role for the supply of the Thank Russian you, campaign also in North Donbass. Also that uh, the government, like the US government, knows if they assassinate uh, Putin and it comes out that it was them, then that shit is going to happen, you know. ...of the remaining Russian units in the area, including Izium, another strategically important city in this area. Russia donated more equipment to it Ukraine seems than like the Russian units understood the threat posed to the them very quickly. The number one feeling I have about the entire Ukraine was that we live in a TV show, man. This is all such a... You know, there's the South Park episode, which I kind of think is my religion. Planet Earth and the human race was made by aliens for entertainment. We are a TV show for aliens. And if you look at the world, right? That makes far more sense than the Bible and the Quran and shit, right? It makes more sense we are a fucking TV show because the proof is there, okay? I can buy an artillery shell and call it Super Bunker 9000, okay? And managed to flee to Life the east of the river Oskil while leaving most of their equipment yeah. to the Ukrainian army. By September 8th, the Ukrainian 100%. units liberated Senkova on the eastern bank of the Oskil River, south of Kupiansk. On September 9th, they advanced on Kupiansk and liberated at least part of the city east of the river Oskil. At this point, even late Russian reinforcements sent to the area could not turn the tide, as panic engulfed the Russian lines. On September 10th, the Russians fled from Izium in order to avoid being encircled, but they had to leave a massive stash of weapons and equipment to the advancing Ukrainian forces. The Russian units west of That's so interesting about this kind of warfare, man. You you might retreat, but they're leaving their equipment Moscow behind. And How are Russian do they have to be to leave all this equipment behind all the fled time? To Russia, I mean, the Americans the did the same in fucking uh, Kabul. The collapse of the Russian army in this area <coughs> forced Russia to with. This always reminds me a little bit of uh, Roberti Gilliman, the Primarch of the Ultramarines in Warhammer 40k, who is the best Primarch. You know why? Because he's the best log logistician. Log logistician. Logistics are so important, man. If you are good at logistics, man, we see it in the whole Four since uh, no step back, right? Logistics is everything, man. 
draw Logistics from the occupied areas of Kharkiv Oblast, as the Ukrainians within days retook control of towns like Vovchansk, which had been occupied in the beginning of the invasion. For days, nice. the Russian command remained silent about the Ukrainian... It must suck for Ukraine that they know they can't make a step into Russian land, because then bad shit will happen. Progress. It really sucks. While the Russian telegram channels and social media followed and informed on it with astonishment and anger. Only on September 10th, the Russian Ministry of Defense officially stated about regrouping actions the Russian units in the izium kupiansk area conducted in order to focus on their mission in Donbass. The Russian public did not really buy this explanation, even nah. though some of the most ardent if even they don't fucking buy it, you really know you're fucking up, man. They believe continuously fucking claimed you tell that them. the Russian forces withdrew intentionally in order to draw Ukrainian forces into a trap. Into a trap, but man. The biggest trap is your fucking life. Thank strategic you, strategic withdrawals <laughs> while losing most of your equipment to the enemy. Ukraine liberated almost 6,000 square kilometers of land in a matter of days. You know what this war needs right now? A area, fucking civilian revolution in white Russia, man. Four months of white Russia taking back the country, making it democratic, man. That's what it needs to fucking Russian happen. Command and like, where the fuck is Chad CIA? Back in the 60s, right? The CIA would go to South America and coop everyone. Oh, we're the CIA. We made fucking Saddam Hussein and Al-Qaeda, bro. Like, where is the fucking CIA, man? Go to White Russia and coop that shit, man. Coordination between its forces, no make morale, make, make problems White Russia with supplies, Western ally. lack of manpower in this There's direction, no Belarus, and why. astonishing <laughs> indifference to indications of an impending Ukrainian counterattack led to this collapse. The Russian Occupation Administration claims that Ukraine had an 8 to 1 numerical advantage against the Russians on this axis. One of the key factors for the success of this brilliant counterattack was the inability of the Russian Air Force to impose its will. German supplied Gaspard self propelled anti aircraft guns. Deutschland! Deutsche Freunde! Deutsche! Defending it against any aerial Deutschland. threat. Liberation of this area allowed Ukraine to take control of several important supply lines and logistical hubs. You guys made jokes about Fast and Helms, man. From a threat is coming now from ready. The north and seize a huge number of Russian good military supplies. Mm -hmm. Most importantly, any danger for the second biggest city in Ukraine, Kharkiv, completely dissipated. According to Oryx, during the counter-offensive, Ukraine captured 388 pieces of Russian equipment, 200 oh, yeah, of them yeah, in yeah, good yeah, condition. Yeah, 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 yeah. This included 49 tanks, 24 uh, armored Russian personnel all, yeah. carriers, 32 <laughs> artillery fucking vehicles idiots. and MLRS, and two planes. More importantly, many Russian ammunition depots were captured intact, nice. and that would allow Ukraine to supply its largely Soviet-made artillery. It is nice. difficult to say how many Russian soldiers were killed or captured. I'm rooting so hard for Ukraine, man. I, 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 I haven't rooted for anything like this in with ages, some units man. stopping to exist <clears throat> as a fighting force. I was such a fan. But perhaps I would, the biggest I would buy benefit the of this highly successful counter-offensive operation by Ukraine is an incredible boost of morale for the Ukrainian army and the Ukrainian people. This I mean, they know that Tommy K is uh, with them, and I think every night these Ukrainians sitting, they're sitting in their, their little trenches and they're watching Tommy K on their phones, watching Zomboid streams, and uh, I'm with you guys, man. Which is I think that's the biggest success them. of the Ukrainian army in this war, on par with its victory in the Battle of Kyiv, is yet another indicator that the Ukrainian <clears throat> army is not only capable of defending valiantly, but of conducting daring offensives as well. Nice. And on the These other side, the already poor chance. morale of the Russian army deteriorated even further. Unfortunately, yeah, now they have after these the Russian retreat, don't even want to fight. it became the clear that troops had committed and plummeting. atrocities in the Izium area. At some point, Hundreds it looks like that the nuke is the only thing Russia has left. Many of them belonging to but Russia knows, Vladimir Putin knows, if they drop a nuke, they are done. They are done. If one nuke gets dropped, man, it's all out fucking destruction, man. Adios, Russia, the man. Civilians who were executed. They will be gone. Ukraine dude. once again asked the international <clears throat> community to recognize Russia as a terrorist state and invited the UN to conduct it an investigation. It is actually kind of under the definition of terrorist state at the moment. This defeat increased the discontent in Russia regarding the situation in Ukraine. For instance, the head of the Chechen Republic, Kedirov, criticized <clears throat> command for its <clears throat> mistakes and threatened to contact the leadership of the defense ministry and the leadership of the country to explain the real situation on the ground, if the situation did not change. He's threatening and criticizing the Russians. He literally said he's going to Ukraine fighting and he made fake pictures, fake pictures of him being at the front lines, man. What a unbelievable, unbelievable scumbag. This was followed by a surprising petition of 65 municipal deputies in Russia <clears throat> to strip Putin of the presidency for treason. 
along with that several at, at some point you could even argue that it's good if putin stays alive the longer putin stays the more they're gonna, he's gonna fuck everything up imagine they replace putin with someone that actually has a brain you know russian mps including the chairman of the communist party Gennady zyuganov called for full mobilization the 65 people fell from military windows. setbacks on the ground might push the kremlin to announce mobilization in the foreseeable future but the effectiveness of its conduct and whether it's going to change the situation remains highly Just like debatable. With Hitler. <laughs> the Russian government continues its efforts to restore the Russian manpower in Ukraine by creating new. I don't know if Khabib said anything about the war. The Khabib is probably scared if he says something, he's going to get Trigoshin, fucked. Who is known for his close ties to Putin, was seen making a recruitment speech in a Russian prison on I've September 14th. Yeah, I've seen that video. The Wagner Group, which is the Nazi group of Russia, um, he recruited people in a prison. I in thought. his speech, he offered amnesty to inmates who would fight in Ukraine for six months and stated that refusing to fight and withdrawing after agreeing to fight in Ukraine would not be an option for them. Along with that, hey, that shows the RFERL reported you know that Maximus Russia was redeploying its troops in Central Asia to Ukraine. Also, Kedarov called upon federal. The Allies wanted to kill Hitler, but said no. He's so stupid. He has to be. He has to stay alive. I didn't know that. The Russian Federation to launch self-mobilization campaigns, which is extremely problematic in terms of the this unity of Russia. Scumbag, also. Amidst the Kremlin's unwillingness to declare a politically risky mobilization, the Russian elite is clearly worried about the situation in Ukraine yeah, and scared understands the that pussies, the lack huh? of manpower is one of the factors behind it. God, I'm so fucking full of emotion about Russia this shit. Has also been attempting I want them to all to fucking perish in resources by purchasing arms from other countries. On September yeah, like North 5th, Korean the New York Times dudes. reported that Russia was purchasing artillery shells and rockets from North, North Korea. North Korea, bro. You're buying equipment. Imagine you buy equipment from North Korea and Hoi 4, man. You know that your campaign is kind of not going well. On September well, 13th, after months of speculation, <laughs> the first physical evidence of the Russian use of Iranian drones emerged. Debris of an Iranian Kamikaze Shahed 136 drone. Another, uh, another important point that these uh, fine amazing women in iran need to fucking be successful with their revolution man was found in Kupiansk iran has to become later in a friend of the west but the quality and they want to of be weapons friend of the west, purchased by we russia right the continues streets. to be shadowed by foreign military aid given to ukraine in early september the white house asked congress to approve the provision of a further 13.7 billion dollars of it's military and removed. economic aid to ukraine Fuck yeah them. and all these americans all these american scumbags are like why are we giving money to ukraine why isn't this money giving to our veterans and home you fucking idiots man you fucking little children with 80 iq that can't even fucking think you guys have a fucking budget of what how many billions of military and you give another 13 billion which is nothing in your budget to an actual war zone where actually democracy and the west is defended but your pea brains don't fucking get it man also americans that are against the help to ukraine are just the dumbest the dumbest doobies eh? while on september 8th so Biden fucking approved dumb. a new 675 million dollar package which included more ammunition more artillery more grenade launchers and so on Thank Russia you, also for suffered forever, setbacks man. on the diplomatic Thank you. front. This looks like we're four. Against the background of Thank weakening you very much, of man. the Thank Russian you. international standing, hostilities renewed between Azerbaijan and Armenia, despite man, no the one presence fucking of about Russian this shit, peacekeepers. Armenia requested military support Dude, really from the like Russian-led military alliance, free, CSTO, the whole world is just but only received hand. diplomatic support, which so guys, damaged go the Russian reputation man. We might fucking see as a result, two other CSTO members, Tajikistan and Kyrgyzstan, began clashing along their borders. The occurrence of these ongoing conflicts show that Russia is quickly losing its leadership position even among the former Soviet states. Yes. The Ukrainian yes. command stated on September 13th that the Russian command has suspended the deployment of new units to Ukraine, but this has not been confirmed yet. It seems like Ukraine was content with consolidating its gains west of Oskil since it did not want to endanger its success by going deep into Luhansk Oblast and risking its overstretched lines. Sounds Still, good. Ukraine gained ground towards Liman and liberated Sviatovsk. Thank you, Kid Mike Man. Thank you for Ironically, the years, Ukrainian forces were able to cross the Sevesky Donetsk River near Bilharivka, right? the location where Russia infamously it. lost a few BTGs in May and advanced towards Krimina. Success Thank in this man. area <clears throat> will negate the costly gains made by Russia around Severodonetsk. Why can't Ukraine go into Russia? There's a law in Russia that if their uh, own territory is under attack, they're allowed to go completely crazy, man. Uh, like nukes and stuff. Uh, Newman, Newman was taken today by a UA. A grinding battle that nice. lasted for months, 
as Ukrainian officials are already reporting engagements in the vicinity of Lysychansk. There are reports that Ukrainians have already crossed the Oskil River near Borova and East Kupiansk, which means that Russia still hasn't managed to form a good defensive line, creating a threat to Putin's control also, over the Ukraine Luhansk region. Also, Ukraine will lose all of defense Another if they go into Russia. Another important factor yeah. is the disarray in the Russian... Which, so that's a very hard decision. Imagine you, you were a unit here, right? And you know that right here in Russian territory, there is an ammunition plant. So you know, if you infiltrate at night and kill the ammunition plant, you actually do something for the war. But you're in enemy territory and you're scared of a, a big political backblast. That's a very, very complex very very weird situation man you kind of want to help the war effort and you're defending yourself but also you could get really fucked for it you know in supply lines. that's very very uh, just fire across was the essential for the supply of the russian troops in luhansk <clears throat> and donetsk and without it the nearest usable railway is in that's why man if i was the president of the us uh right now i would say i hereby officially give, give a guarantee to 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 ukraine that uh, uh, you have a full guarantee that in case of you getting nuked, we're going to nuke Russia to shit. Giving a guarantee so Russia knows, oh, okay, if we actually use the nuke against Ukraine, we're fucking... Valuki is that actually Oberon, what they're doing? And Ukraine can interdict that supply actually, that line with ease right with its artillery and MLRS. Either to avenge its clear defeat or to calm down the military thing, right? press. Yeah, they Russia actually did that. Yeah, they the number did of that, Ukrainian yeah. power plants in the northeast of Ukraine leaving that area without electricity for some time. <coughs> Striking civilian installations that have no military utility is a war crime. In response, Ukraine shells the army base in Veluki and a few- oh, <laughs> I'm a genius! <laughs> Other military installations Dude, within... I'm a military genius! I literally fucking shot exactly the... Uh, Tommy K, 6 k was not for military genius. Russia. Military genius. It is important to mention that both sides <laughs> shelled each other's territory along it's the northeast the border for showed. months. The oh, situation man. in the rest of Donbass remained stable. Russia continued its attempts to break through around Avdivka, Piski, Marinka, Bakhmut and Solidar without much to show for it. Putin's deadline of capturing Donbass by September 15th obviously yeah, failed, nice deadline, you and the cunt. Ukrainian advance will likely further hinder the Russian attempts there. A stalemate in the Zaporizhian front. I'm ready to bet all my property there will be no direct action if Russia uses a nuke. I think you're a fucking idiot, man. Which has I been think you're insane, for and your child and persisted. You should but watch some anime right now and not talk of uh, about this adult stuff. This area by both sides. Suggesting that uh, Russia using a nuke in this war will not have any consequences, you are obviously... Russian military but you reports have a lot of property the probably Russian put command on, that this on may that be bet, the I next guess. axis of the Ukrainian counter-offensive, which would put and Russian control troops, over coins. strategically important Tokmak, Melitopol and Mariupol under threat. The Zaporizhian nuclear power plant crisis continued. On September 1st, Fucking the Russian idiots, Ministry man. of Defense shooting made an unfounded plant, claim that Ukrainian saboteurs nuclear landed near plant. the power plant to seize it, but most probably, this was just another propaganda effort yeah, of Russia. everything they say is a lie anyway. Also in early September, <clears> the <throat> International Atomic Energy Agency delegation inspected the power plant. On September 6th, the IAEA released its report, which did not explicitly blame Russia, but noted the placement of military equipment near essential facilities of the power plant, and called for demilitarization of the power plant. Makes but sense. later, the board of the IAEA adopted a more directly worded resolution which called on Russia to immediately cease all actions against and at the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant and any there, like other nuclear facility Dude. in Ukraine. But the risk of a nuclear up, disaster still exists. And that's an iodine? I actually talked to my uh, pharmacist about iodine, and um, uh, it's not so easy. You have to get a recipe. And also she said to me, I remember, uh, most Western countries have uh, a stockpile anyway. If a nuke will drop or a power plant will break, uh, Germany, for example, has uh, uh, millions of iodine pills ready to give to the to the public. Russia does not intend to days. withdraw from the power plant. Intensification of fighting in Zaporizhia may exacerbate these risks. It is important to understand why the Ukrainian approach to the counteroffensive in Kharkiv and Kherson are so different. On one hand, there is the matter of different terrain. The Kharkiv area is more forested and has elevation, both of which allow the infantry to have concealment, while the <clears> Hesano <throat> Blast is the open steppe with little chance to hide, making mass advances costly. On the other hand, Hesson was taken by Russia with relative ease and is not nearly as damaged as Izium or Mariupol or Volnovaka, which means that Ukraine would prefer me. to liberate it with the least amount of destruction. 
Still, the fact that Ukraine has a decisive numerical advantage, while Russia can't generate manpower, means that the Ukrainian troops can create mismatches on any portion of the front and break through once again. With neither side willing the, the, to negotiate, the, fucking, uh, the Russian government uh, intends the Ukrainian to continue to its occupation of Ukrainian territories, afterwards. hoping that winter Moscow is going to so weaken the resolve away. of European governments yeah, Russia really hopes and create winter now. cracks in the Western alliance. And that's, that's, uh, that's all jokes aside here. I was asking before, right, some minutes ago, I was asking, what can a Westerner like me, a random nobody, what can I do to help Ukraine? And one thing the West can do, especially Germans, is to stop fucking whining about gas prices. Yeah, it fucking sucks. Yeah, I know you can't fucking afford your Coca-Cola and fucking Fast and the Furious movies anymore. But you not fucking crying about gas is literally helping the war effort of these brave Ukrainian people, man. You'd rather take the Russian gas and let these people die so, just so you can fucking uh, uh, save money. You waste all the time fucking anyway flying to the fucking Balaman to fucking Mallorca drinking fucking Zangria, man. That's what a Westerner can do. Alliance. On September 3rd, Gazprom maintained its shutdown of the Nord Stream 1 gas pipeline in an attempt to prevent European countries from filling up their gas depots. But it is unclear what would happen in the following winter if the war in Ukraine continues. Still, the Russian government seems Thank to gamble Guzman. on destabilizing the, the EU party. member states the fucking through increased candidate gas prices kind of and inflation. Fucking portfolio a bit. For oh, Ukraine, wow. September has arguably oh, been no. the most Did successful she do month that? of the war. I wonder what the other parties did. Liberated Blast in an unexpected and rapid counter-offensive. That's Germans, man. They vote for the fucking devil and then Hesa. wonder why it's getting hot. The Ukrainian government will be hoping for more Western military aid to continue its deoccupation efforts. Since the Russian army continue mounting even without ATA CMS. There have been no recent updates from <clears> foreign <throat> or reputable local sources regarding manpower losses. I'm going to get so many fucking Blog continues messages. reporting about visually confirmed <coughs> losses of military equipment on both sides. By September 16th, Russia had lost 1,128 tanks, 2,374 vehicles, 142 command posts and communication stations, 18 heavy mortars, 351 artillery Fuck pieces yes, and dude. vehicles, 109 multiple rocket launches, 56 aircraft, 48 helicopters, and 127 drones. I'm afraid of getting On drafted the Ukrainian into side, the Ukraine war. The visually advice, confirmed equipment uh, losses are the following. 263 tanks, 639 vehicles, 7 command posts and communication stations. I'm a former CDU voter, I'm 100% going to vote green next time in the German elections. Sometimes values are more important than money. Sir, you're way too intelligent for the stream, man. You're way too intelligent 117 for the stream, right now. artillery pieces and vehicles, 22 Go multiple that rocket big launches, 46 aircraft, 14 helicopters and 34 drones. We will continue covering Putin's unprovoked invasion of Ukraine in the coming weeks.